Hey guys, it's MJ, the student at Tree, and um, yeah, let's talk about the overview of the actuarial exams. And the best way to do this is to consider what I call the exam pyramid. So without further ado, let's get into it. So at the associate level, um, you've got two types of actuaries. You've got the associate actuaries and you've got the fellowship actuaries. Um, at the associate level, there are eight core technical exams. These exams are very mathematical, um, very technical in nature, and in order to do them, well, for most of them, you will require, you know, around two years of university mathematics to, you know, get to grips with them because they, they draw on, you know, mathematical theory and, uh, you know, certain things such as integration and calc other forms of calculus and, and all of that. Um, once you get all eight of these exams done, you then move on to what we call the core application exams, the CA exams. These exams are, are less mathematical and the, the first one being um, CA1 is one of the most difficult, or in my opinion, is the most difficult of these 11 exams. That is where you, it's basically the theory and you have to use actuarial judgment in order to answer the questions. CA2 is all about, um, you know, creating a model and creating an order trail for that model. And then uh, CA3 is communications. So here you have to explain actuarial techniques in everyday English. So yeah, these are the 11 exams that you have to do if you want to become an associate actuary. If you want to become um, a fellow actuary, you know, and you want to get to the fellowship, then there are two more levels. The first level being the specialist technical exams. Now here the you only have to do two exams, but you have a choice from a variety of different uh, subjects. So in my case, I chose finance and general insurance. You could also have chosen um, pensions or um, life insurance or health insurance, and there's even a few more. Um, but yeah, those are the two that I chose. And then from the two, so I chose finance in general. I now, if I want to become a fellow actuary, so I haven't written this exam yet, but I'll choose either to write my fellowship in finance or in general insurance. And there is a specialist application for all of the other subjects, um, but you have to have done the specialist technical in order to uh, write the specialist application. And yeah, that's, that is basically the actuarial exams in a nutshell. There might be one or two um, extra ones, depending on whether you're in the Faculty of Actuaries, the Institute of Actuaries, the Society of Actuaries, whoever your um, you know, governing body is, there might be another exam. But these are the, the base exams, these are the standard exams that are across uh, the majority of the actuarial um, you know, societies and groups. So yeah. In total, there are eight core technicals, um, three core applications, two specialist technicals, and one specialist application. Um, maybe I'll make a, a video for you know for each of these, just explaining the subjects in more depth. If you guys want that, leave some comments below, and I'll get that made for you. Otherwise, remember that with all the actuarial exams, the secret is to work hard and to study even harder. Cheers, guys.